This week, as we welcome the first days of spring, my fellow Iranians and I celebrate Noruz, the Iranian New Year. As a child, what I loved about Noruz, besides the fact that it coincided with the most natural of New Years, a rebirth of spring, the blossoming of trees, and a renewal of everything in nature, was that while it was taken from the ancient Zoroastrians, it celebrated as a non-political, non-religious holiday for all. Noruz literally means a new day, and each Noruz connected me, an Iranian-American daughter of immigrants, to my roots. I would feel a certain nostalgia listening to my mother tell stories of how she remembered Noruz in Iran before the revolution. The smell of flowers, pastries, roasted nuts, trout fish and vibrantly red radishes stacked up at the outdoor markets, the excitement of buying and wearing new clothes and shoes. And all of a sudden, while the holiday is not meant to be political, the nostalgia, memories, and thoughts of what was became thoughts of what could be. Growing up, I wish people could know this Iran, not the one represented in the media. This even drove me to dedicate a career to it. I wanted the world to understand the Iranian people separate from the mullahs representing them. I wish that Iran could be celebrated as a two and a half thousand year rich culture instead of focusing on the last 38 years. The headlines are never about the warm, charming people of Iran. Instead, they're about the more than 500 executions last year, or dozens of Baha'is and Christians arrested solely for their religion, or the dozen of Western dual citizens rotting away in the prisons of Iran, celebrating notaries in captivity. Did you know that last year Iran's government held its record for juvenile execution? Record for killing children. The only superlatives I associate with the people of Iran are being the most compassionate, having the most delicious food, and of course, having the most beautiful women. And Iranian women all around the world are making headlines in entertainment, fashion, science, medicine, even the game of chess. But the world sees Neda, the young woman brutally murdered on the streets of Iran during the Green Revolution of 2009 by an intolerant regime hoping and succeeding in making a symbol out of her. Or Rehane, a young woman put to death two years ago solely for defending herself against a man who tried to rape her. While the Iranian women I know are breaking glass ceilings, the government that represents them is breaking other records. Now more than 75 women executed since so-called moderate President Rouhani has come into office. And when extremists across the globe warrant a ban to keep us safe, it's the mullahs and their proxies who should be kept out of the U.S., not the Iranian people. So on this Nowruz, I am left to think, what could be? What could be if the world knew more about the Iranian people, the same ones who were determined to introduce themselves in 2009 as the Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube superstars, savvy, young, pro-American, and most importantly, freedom-loving Iranians who want nothing more out of life than you and I do. In an age where nuclear agreements, sanctions, and freezing diplomatic ties have failed both sides, it's worth pondering. What could be? I dedicate this to, to those who gave their lives for freedom and those seeking it on these first days of spring. I am Neda. I am Rehane. I am an Iranian-American woman, and this is my Noruz. What does Noruz or this new spring mean to you? Post this video and hashtag this is my Noruz to tell the world. I'm Lisa Daftari, Eidatun Mubarak. Happy New Year, Happy Spring.